So I wanted to make a video. I don't know if you guys wonder or care, but we have been in this travel trailer, a 36 foot, where is it? Where is it? 36 foot, um, I don't know what it is, a Thor or something like that. Tahoe, Tahoe. Got it for 2000 bucks. We've been in it for a year. And I have two boys that are 11 and 12, myself and Kim, in this trailer. And we've done it for a little over a year now while we build our house right out there. There's our house. And we paid 2000 bucks for this trailer from a neighbor. And it has been absolutely awesome. So here's the rundown. Just if you guys think you can't do it, um, it's too hard to live in an RV. It, at times, I guess, can be uncomfortable, but you know what? We didn't have to pay rent. We didn't have to pay a mortgage for a year, and we could put all that money towards the house. So here's a rundown of what we've got for space. This has been probably one of the biggest hangups is the space in the refrigerator. RVs don't have the biggest refrigerators or freezers, and when you're trying to eat good, a small refrigerator is your enemy. So it's pretty small. This is this is our pantry. Not a whole lot of room in that either, but you may do. Um, all this furniture that you see, well, focus. All this furniture that you see was in this when we got it, other than the kids' bunk beds. Um, we ended up putting a Mexican mini split that was a thousand bucks on the side here in the place of the roof air conditioner because this air conditioner, even though it's ducted, will not keep up with the summer heat in Havasu. This thing was a thousand bucks, came charged, had to run some wire, and I probably had another 200 bucks in just wire and paying an AC guy a couple bucks to come do the line sets and everything. That thing kept this trailer when it was 120 outside in the low 70s in here. And it was amazing. And it ran at about 16 amps as opposed to this unit, which drew... No, this one was... I think this one was about 12 amps. This unit drew, I think, 18 to 20 amps. So it was a lot more efficient as well. So it does have a slide out room here, which was nice. We put the kids' bunk beds here. So this is basically the kids' room, I guess you would say. Uh, my youngest boy sleeps up there. My oldest one sleeps there. They have pull-out compartments there that have all their clothes in it and their storage and guitar and laundry and everything are there. This is the not so grand dining room, but it works. So that's typically uh, where we sit down for dinner. Um, the, the roof vents and all these areas I have taped off because it either lets too much cold in or too much heat in. And it was just not, it did not work to uh, leave those not covered with some sort of thermal bubble wrap stuff or tape. They were just too drafty. So I also had the windows in the summertime. They have that reflective uh, bubble window stuff, that uh, chrome looking stuff on them. So the other thing that's kind of a bummer living in a trailer was the oven and stove space is very minimal. Um, most of our cooking was in a crock pot or one of those electric frying pans. Hooks are your best friend because you can put everything on hooks, clothes on hooks, wet clothes, dry clothes, um, stuff like that. Book bags for the kids, all their homework uh, or their backpacks hang up there. So we actually have more storage in this thing though than we ended up using. We have so many compartments that are just empty that we just didn't use. So then you get up into here, the bathroom, it is absolutely 
it's porcelain, but it is nothing to uh, to brag about, that's for sure. So it's a very small, probably as small as an airplane uh, bathroom. The shower actually worked kind of cool. It's a decent sized shower, has a sunroof. We also uh, covered that because it lets too much cold or heat in. So blocked off the tub thing, so you just use the shower. This is the kids' closet in the hallway, so they keep all their stuff there, and we have some food storage and the vacuum and paper towels and our laundry bag there. Um, there's my ugly mug. The bathroom sink is very small, but it works. And then the bedroom up top, it's got a slide out up there as well. And I believe this is a queen size bed, maybe a full, I don't know, but it works. And then we have storage up front for our clothes. And then in the real heat of summer when it was 120, July, August, we put a portable air conditioning unit there that had the hose that was plumbed out. And when on those days that we couldn't get enough air moving, we had that running. And our most expensive electric bill, I think it was like right at 150 bucks, which was not too bad. So, but that's how we do it. Um, it's been a little over a year. Uh, we picked up the trailer for 2000 bucks, like I said, from a neighbor. Um, the outside, it's a fiberglass sided one and the roof was actually in good shape. That was the biggest concern of the whole thing was we've had other trailers that um, the roofs were shot and they leaked on the inside and that's just, that kind of ruins everything. So it's really, it's it's been a, a, a good home for over a year. And anybody that says you can't do it with four people in a 36 foot fifth wheel travel trailer, um, hopefully they see this and realize like if you have an ambitious plan to pay cash for a house and live on your property for a while while you're saving and um, build your house and not deal with banks and not get loans, this is an option. Find yourself a motorhome, a bus, an RV, build it out um, and do it. Hopefully this inspires you. Good luck.